Hello everyone, welcome back to another Main Street Duo Adventure. Today we are at Disneyland for the first day of the 2024 holiday season. There's lots of new food and drinks to try, and very merry merchandise to see in the stores. We'll also meet Mickey and his friends in their new holiday attire, and we'll have even more festive fun in the park. And the night wouldn't be complete without seeing Sleeping Beauty Castle light up to kick off the holiday season. Let's get this adventure started. One thing about us is we always start our day here in Town Square and on Main Street. Which is convenient because you do have to pass through Main Street to get into the heart of the park. But we could spend hours in here. The decor is beautiful, the Christmas tree is up, the characters are out, the Main Street vehicles, the kinetic energy, it's all just so beautiful and I really feel in the spirit of the season I could spend hours just looking around. Town Square and Main Street are the essence of the holidays here at the Design Resort. I just love listening to the music. The Dapper Dans are out. Mm -hmm. It's just it's just a good time. It's classic. It's classic. I think that's the word to sum it up. It's just classic holiday. Yeah, we are a little partial to Main Street, but still, it's <laughs> it's it's just so magical here. And I say this every single time, every single year. You might even <laughs> laugh right now. I always say Halloween time is my favorite time at the parks. And then the holidays roll around, and I'm like, oh yeah. He always that's switches, it. I yeah. know. But the characters have new outfits this year. They're kind of postal inspired, so I'm really excited to see what they've done this year for them. Hi, Mickey. I love it. You're my favorite. Oh, I love that your bag says Main Street. That's so cool. Whoa, Main oh, Street. Let's see. How about that? Main that's Street us. USA, yeah. <laughs> You're riding the letters. <laughs> one to Minnie, one to Santa. <laughs> There's a mailbox right over there. Putting them in, yeah. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Hi, Pluto. Hi. Oh my goodness. So good to see you. <laughs> yeah. I wonder where my holiday clothes for you. <laughs> I see you have a new like postage stamp tag. Oh. I love that. Oh my oh, gosh. Embroidered. That's pretty cool. Stealing your stamp. Oh, we just met Mickey, so we're seeing all your outfits together. Looks so cute. Oh, we get a picture together, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Hi, Goofy. Right, over, you look great. Oh, I love your new look. <laughs> Perfect for the holidays. Oh, look at that little jazzy. <laughs> you look very dapper. Very spiffy. <laughs> love it. <laughs> we get a picture together. Yeah. Great. Good idea. Thank oh, you. Oh, thank you. you. Thank you. I had to wear my holiday vest. Oh, so <laughs> yes, yep, it it's the, the, the holidays are here. <laughs> it's time. Yes. We just met some of the characters here in Town Square. We saw three of them in one go, so that was very lucky. We saw Mickey, Pluto, and Goofy, and we even saw Miss Minnie Mouse from afar looking adorable in her pink dress. The outfits were really well done this year. A lot of the little cute details, some postage stamp details, as well as the Main Street Postal Service bag that Mickey had. It was adorable. He was showing it off to us, even writing some letters. We did not see Donald, Chip, or Dale yet, or Daisy, but maybe they'll be out later, or if we don't see him today, we'll probably see him on a later visit during the season. What about Clarabelle, too? Is she supposed to be in an outfit this Clarabelle? year? Clarabelle? Yeah. I don't mm -hmm. know. That brings us to our next point, outfit of the day. What are you wearing? I'm wearing a little vintage Mickey Santa sweatshirt I picked up earlier this season. Thought he was very festive. And I'm wearing some Mickey Mouse ears from a couple holidays ago. But fun fact, they're similar to the style being sold at Tokyo Disney Resort this year. Very nice. Mm -hmm, thank you. Very festive. No notes. <laughs> <laughs> and what are you wearing today? <laughs> I'm wearing a gift from you. Aww. After our Alani trip, you went back to Alani and grabbed this for me because we missed the holiday season there and you were kind of caught some of the leftover stuff. So this is a 2023 Melekilikimaka Alani shirt and it's got Duffy and Shelly Mae. Our favorites. Very cute. Yeah, and you can see the year 2023. Nice. We love Alani. We love it. Ready to go back. Right behind me is the fire station and they are doing a magic key photo op right now. They have like a one foot size Mickey gingerbread cookie. It's a prop, not a real thing. You can't actually eat it. I tried, no. <laughs> um, but yes, you can take a picture with it. It's really cute. Now we are not key holders, so we cannot take a picture with it. Um, we are customers, but it's okay. We will get the real thing and we'll take photos of that and we'll get to eat it. 
our first food stop of the day is going to be Harper Galley to try their new warm gingerbread cookies. We're going to find out if they live up to the viral chocolate chip cookies also found at this location. Before I dive into the cookies myself, I wanted to talk about the mobile ordering process. So I woke up at 8.30 to place a mobile order for 11.30, and the only thing showing on the app for today was you had to buy the Mickey gingerbread popcorn bucket to get the cookies. Like the cookies, like six pack, were not showing up by themselves. So that brings us to Ooh, the popcorn bucket. That worked out in our favor. It did, yeah. <laughs> so I saw these on the parks blog and I knew I had to get it. So it worked out perfectly getting them with the cookies because that was a must try this year. Mm -hmm. um, but this just screams the holidays. It reminds me of when me and Courtney do our gingerbread making uh, with the kits at home. Mm -hmm. So very special very holidays this has mickey gingerbread mickey here on the side of the house kind of like welcoming you to his gingerbread house there's also chip here on the side there's so many fun little characters a big giant mickey like wreath on the side um i'm not gonna call it a hidden mickey because it's so obvious but you got mini over here on the side of the house i love the candy canes i love the colors you got Dale here on the back next Aww. to some logs. And it's just very detailed. Like the little swirls on the log too kind of just seals everything together. It's a decor piece, really. It is, it is. And then this does open up. Let me see what side here. This side, okay. You open it and it says... Happy holidays. <laughs> so cute. And you see what? It's great for storing all of our gingerbread today. I know. We are going to get a buttload of gingerbread today. There's more to add. Every year there's more and more ginger to try. Yeah. Like there's a classic Mickey gingerbread shaped ones. There's a Mickey head ones. Now we got the Mickey cookies here at Harbor Galley. There's a gingerbread cake over at Plaza Inn and a gingerbread sundae at Golden Horseshoe. So yes. we're going to have a good dose of ginger today. <laughs> so $13.99, sorry, keep confusing that. $39.99 gets you the popcorn bucket and the cookies. So I am going to give these cookies a try. I am excited to try this. Not big on gingerbread, but for some reason the parks do it right and there's a chef's kiss every year. So here we go. It's got you giggling. <laughs> it's got me kicking my feet. <laughs> oh. mm. It's simple, but so good. It's a nice, super chewy interior. Nice, like, I don't want to say crispy, but there's a little bit of a crunch. Yes. Yeah. There's a crunch on the outside. This is phenomenal. Oh my gosh. This gingerbread whipped topping was an additional charge. It was $1.29. Um, so let's give this a go. It's okay. I think it's more of the same. I think it needs like some other flavor to kind of like cut through it because now the flavors, it's just, it's overpowering yeah. the ginger flavor. But these are a chef's kiss. <laughs> these are phenomenal. We are starting the day off right on a good foot. These cookies, we haven't tried the chocolate chip ones, but the cookies here at Harbor Galley are like kind of game changers from what we've seen so far. Yeah, they kind of really put like Harbor Galley on the Back map. Back on the map, they yeah. did. They, so they people were like, I mean, I know they have like the lobster rolls and everything, but no one was really like talking about Harbor Galley mm -hmm. up until these cookies came out. So I'm glad to see it's given some love. Now they do have a standby line here if you weren't able to successfully place a mobile order. And it is kind of long, but it is moving really fast because everybody's here for one thing and one thing only, and that is those cookies. So if you see a long line, don't be scared. Just hop in. It will move fast. Not to break your heart, but I have tried the chocolate chip ones that worked before. <laughs> they were really good, but I think these are better. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. that's saying something. We've made our way back to Main Street to the Emporium to do some Christmas shopping. And I found some really cute seasonal plushies here. Looks like they're outfits that we saw them in earlier, isn't it? Mm -hmm. They're like um, postal service elves it's giving. Yeah, does he, does he have his bag? <laughs> No, no bag. Oh, no bag. They kind of simplify them. They can't do all the small details of the actual holiday outfits, but these are $34.99 each. I'm loving the Stitch plushie. He has a letter that says, I've been good, and it has his amount of bad and good, but <laughs> it looks like mostly bad, bad to yeah. me. So I'm not sure what his ratio, I guess he's got like the glass half full. Yes, yeah, 626%. That's pretty funny. <laughs> I feel like every holiday season, I deem a piece of clothing that is the kind of quintessential holiday piece. And this is what I'm deeming this year's Christmas sweater. <laughs> it's just so classic. It has some really nice, almost like soft carpet feel to it, almost like embroidery. And Disneyland in kind of a flocked finish on the sides. This is 59 dollars 
I think it's really cute for anyone. It's so classic. Yeah. It's kind of retro. The I white like and it. red is giving candy cane kind of. It is. Yeah. It's sweet. I've always really loved snowmen for the holiday season, and these ears are so cute. They're super, super soft. These are $34.99. I think these are the same ones they had last year, I remember. And they have this lounge fly that's also crazy soft. He is $99. So that's like that's like a big Christmas gift right It's an here. expensive snowman. He better not melt. He better not. Not for that price. This is also a contender for the ultimate Christmas sweatshirt here I, at Disneyland. I think that beats out the other one. It might, actually. It has a nice little bit of um, like a sparkle, glitter sparkle to it too. Nice embroidery, nice layering. It's, it's really cute. It's us when we decorate our tree. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm doing all the work. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is kind of the fun item of the season. It is a giant light up Mickey ornament fixture you can use to decorate your home. It is very, very fun. They give you a fresh one in the box if you do buy one, but it's so whimsical. I feel like I really want one. <laughs> <laughs> it's scented too. No, it's not scented. <laughs> There is a smaller version if you're looking to save room in your home. This is considered, they're calling it a table light, and it's only $29.99. There are some adorable pillow options this year. This Mickey Snowman and the Mickey Gingerbread. They are both actually very, very soft. $44.99 each. I might go home with this one today. <laughs> He's adorable. I want to put him on my lap and drink hot chocolate and watch a Hallmark movie. <laughs> And eat a Mickey gingerbread while yes. you're doing it too. But I'll like I'll cover his eyes while I eat the <laughs> gingerbread. You know we always got to stop at Candy Palace, and there's not a ton new this year, but there's some really good returning items. We highly recommend the peppermint brownie pie. It's a good little baked brownie cup with the peppermint on top. Usually super fudgy and tasty. Delicious. Also returning is the peppermint marshmallow wand. There is mar Mickey shaped marshmallow covered in dark chocolate and candy cane. It's good, not great. For the price, I would lead you towards the brownie pie or a cake pop before I would say get the marshmallow. Or a regular marshmallow one, those are good. The caramel like skinny ones, those are nice. New this year is a Minnie Mouse Yule Log caramel apple. So cute, very holiday-like. It has caramel covered in milk chocolate and then the kind of snowy white chocolate on top. And every year, I absolutely love these little snowman cake pops. They are so cute. I love the little sour belt earmuffs they have on them. And then there's also a Santa mini, which is one back there. <laughs> but a Santa mini cake pop, those are gonna be chocolate. Those are delicious. Yeah, these need to be like, three times as big. I know, they're so good. I love yeah. the cake pops. We also have these Rice Krispies, again featuring the Mickey gingerbread. Okay, we popped over to a different counter. These are the cake pops to get. It's like twice the size of this <laughs> one right here. I call these the hockey pucks compared to the ball cake pops. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they also have more Rice crispy tree decor options. They also have a Christmas tree here. Very nice. With a Mickey on top. Oh, I didn't see that, yeah. These are really fun too. They look humble, but they're delicious. The peppermint patties, they are homemade and they are so good. It's like a really good York, if you've had a York before. Yes. Delicious. These are seasonal for the holidays. Our next stop is from Rancho del Zocalo to try out some new food items this year. This is the chicken enchilada soup with curtido slaw, diced onions, cilantro, cheese flauta, and a lime wedge. This looks amazing. I was curious. I thought this was like an egg roll or something. No, it's a cheese flauta, so that's like a bonus. I love all the cotija cheese on top. I'm excited for this. It smells really good. Yeah. Also wanted to know it was served in the dessert area. So yeah. head to the dessert area for the soup. Yeah, here we go. Whoa. A big chicken piece right here. Whoa, it's all steaming right. too. Fresh, first of all, super hot. Um, you get a lot of crunch from like the, the slaw that's in there. It is a little on the runny side. Like if you just like focus here, you can see it needs to be chunkier is what I'm saying. It's a little bit too runny for my liking, uh, but the taste is there. Everything works really well together. Let me get into this cheese flauta. Mm. Mm. Flauta is delicious. It's on the softer side because it's been kind of sitting in the soup for a little bit. It almost has like a chili relleno taste, um, a little bit on the spicier side, but Still really good. All in all, I give this a four out of five. I wish like the chicken pieces were a little more shredded. Like they're like really big chunks. I prefer it like kind of like scattered throughout the soup as opposed to like getting big pieces of chicken and then a little bit too runny. So I'm gonna give this a four out of five. Our next item is the Tinga enchiladas. It is cheese enchiladas with chicken tinga, poblano crema, queso fresco, 
rice, beans, and cortito slaw. This looks really nice. Came out so hot. Looks like the chicken tinga is on top there. Slightly shredded. It looks very tender. I'm gonna try chicken first. Mmm. That was good. A little bit of spice, but like in a flavorful way. Not like a burn your tongue kind of way. I haven't had chicken tinga in so long. This is really good. Let's get into the cheesy goodness. Okay, I'm gonna try and get a little bit of the crema from top. Let's see? That is nice. The cheese is really tasty, fresh tasting. Everything tastes like really pure together too. Very fresh with a little bit of the veggies on top. I like that you get the side of rice and beans too. I'm gonna give this a 4.25 out of five. Last but not least, we have the best part of the meal. Our dessert is iced Mexican peppermint chocolate. It's cold hot chocolate, whipped cream, crushed peppermint, and chocolate shavings. If you saw our first day of the Halloween season video, you saw that we tried the Mexican iced hot chocolate back then, and we absolutely loved it. The flavor, everything was on point. So we were thrilled to see that came back for the holiday season with the addition of some crushed candy cane on top. I was not ready to say goodbye to this drink, so I'm very glad that it's back. It's like a whole dessert in a cup. It is so good. The chocolate shavings on top add a nice little kick of chocolate. There's a subtle cinnamon flavor in the actual ice hot chocolate itself. And I get a little bit of peppermint when I sip it from the top too. This is absolutely delicious. This is gonna be a five out of five. I'm gonna give this a go. Let's see how it compares to the one we tried during the Halloween season. Once you get past the, um, you get the idea that it's like a very thick drink and less of like a, um, horchata like lookity base and more of like a thick shake it's really tasty i do get a little bit of peppermint um, when you sip it from the top i do think there is going to be like peppermint kind of blended into the drink as opposed to like just like a garnish on top but still really good five out of five all right i tried a little bit of everything now want to give my final review i thought the enchiladas were okay i, I the parks have not figured out like how to do a tortilla well like they're always like too hard like sometimes you get an enchilada and you could like cut with a fork through it this one you need like a fork and a knife so it doesn't cut um easily unfortunately but this drink has grown on me even more than i thought it would the crushed candy can pieces are a perfect touch it has like the perfect amount of peppermint i think if they added like peppermint to the actual base of the drink it would be too much peppermint so peppermint as a garnish is just the perfect amount. So five out of five, the soup and the drink are the highlight of the smoothie. After trying everything, I agree with Donnie, the soup and the iced hot chocolate were the best. Inchalas were good, but I actually did prefer the soup. The broth flavor, it's like the actual soup itself was so tasty. The chicken quality was really great. And that flauta, mm, delicious. <laughs> So we made our way over to the Fantasyland Theater because we heard Santa's in town. Yes, there is holiday fun with Santa and friends available daily from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. And it's kind of the place to be right now. You can meet Santa, Chippendale are out, Clarabelle. There's fun sing-alongs and singers on stage. Yeah, we were wondering where Chippendale and Clarabelle were at mm -hmm. in Town Square, and we found them. They're here at the Fantasyland Theater. Mm -hmm. This is, as you said, the place to be. I feel like they're really utilizing this space wisely. Mm -hmm. This is the place to be for Pixar Fest, too. Lots of character meet and greets. It's a good time here. Yeah, there's even crafts you can do. They create layers of Santa. This reminds me a lot of the Big Thunder Ranch area back in the day. It's a good area to decompress. And like I said, do crafts. There's food nearby. Come have a snack over here. Go meet Santa. I really love this kind of space. They even have uh, animals that you can pet as well. <laughs> yeah, the goat. <laughs> I saw this in the concept art and I was hoping they'd still have it. They did. It's Goofy being Goofy while he's skiing. You can see his ski poles and skis on the side. That's like ultimate classic Disney cartoon. Just Goofy, you know, going, woo! <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna live on the internet forever. You do realize that, right? Um, I've accepted it. <laughs> I will say this though, this area is more geared towards the literature than, so it's a bit hectic over here, yeah, to say the least. They're getting their energy out. <laughs> There's not really like a playground, but they're they're playing. They're, they're playing, having a yeah. lot of fun. It's like Toontown up in here. Yeah, we're not sure how long this uh, ski thing is gonna last. Let's just say that. Yeah. There's a lot of climbing. Yes, our tax returns. Oh, you caught me mailing my letter to Santa. <laughs> oh, that's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> Someone left a little hidden Nikki up here. Oh yeah. Isn't that cute? Very nice. I really love the Santa mailbox. It reminds me of the ones you see like in Macy's back in the day. Yes. They might still have them. But the big, you know, 
ornate mailbox. You mail your letter as a kid to Santa. I used, I used to wish for a Disney Trips American Girl dolls. Those were my <laughs> drugs of choice. <laughs> now you wish for uh, Mickey gingerbread cookies, which we placed our order for. We have some coming up <laughs> soon, in about an hour or so. I was craving a refreshment. So from Troubadour Tavern, this is the Holiday Cold Brew. It is dark chocolate cold brew topped with cookie butter topper and sugar cookie. So here's the thing. This cold brew costs $7.29. On the app here, this sugar cookie costs $6.49. So this is like a $14 value for like half the price. It's the best of both worlds. So I'm gonna try not to compare this to the peanut butter cold brew over at DCA. But let's get into this and we'll talk about it. Here we go. What did I just say? Mm. Mm -hmm. No, that's not it. No? That ain't it, love? No. It's like... Cookie butter? The cookie butter is good, but it's like not enough. It's not... It's not enough to cut through. Um. It's almost like, like black coffee. It's very, very, very bitter. Way too bitter. It's probably the most bitter cold brew I've ever tried in the parks. Very, it's it's too much for me. The peanut butter was like a nice like introduction into cold brews, which is why I loved it so much. So much because the peanut butter like really shine through. The thing shining through this is the coffee, the cold brew, and I'm not a fan of it. I give this like a. Uh, cookie. Yeah, let me try that first. The cookie is delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Saved it. Solid cookie. I was ready to give this thing a two out of five. Get this for the cookie. I guess you can like kind of dip it here. And that makes the cold brew more palpable. But cold brew, two out of five cookie, 4.75 out of five. If you are, if you like more sugary cold brews, this is not for you because this is really bitter. Please direct your attention to It's a Small World as we celebrate the joy of the holidays and light up the night with thousands of twinkling lights. As we count to three, we invite you to join us in wishing for peace on Earth. One, two, three. One of our favorite Disney artists, Dave Avanzino, is in residence right now at Disneyana from November 14th to November 17th. So we're going to stop in and say hello to him. He was the artist behind our really cool letter art. If you remember that, we picked out all the individual letters. And to Disney Duo Adventures, our old name. But yeah, we really love Dave and his art, so we want to say hello to him tonight. When Dave comes to Disneyland or California Adventure, he brings a lot of his artwork. You can get the, the prints. You can also get canvas wrapped art, as well as some of his paper art. Look really nice. I love his sticky room art. We need to add one of these to our collection sometime. Good evening, everyone. In keeping with our time honored tradition, we invite you to turn your attention to Town Square for the lighting of our beautiful Christmas tree. Here in the magical place where dreams come true, we hope you'll we'll share the spirit of the season by helping us light our Yuletide tree. So, on the count of three, Everyone, please join together in saying Happy Holidays. Ready? One, two, three. Happy Holidays! Just finished chatting with Dave. Great guy. Go buy all of his art. He is awesome. We love his custom letter artwork as well as he makes those like e-ticket books but he uses your letters instead of A, B, C, D, all mm -hmm. that stuff. We're chatting candlelight, all things Disney, yeah, we adore Dave. Yeah, the Christmas tree lighting was a success compared to It's a Small World. It's mm -hmm. later in the day, so it's darker, and there's like a bigger moment when the lights turn on, as it should be. Yes, that was probably the highlight compared to Small World. <laughs> We're in Plaza Point, AKA the Christmas tree store, and we found the big ornament from earlier. It has the price on it, it's $79.99. There's also a medium one we hadn't seen before, and that's gonna be $59.99. So they have one for every price point. <laughs> also wanted to note at Plaza Point, they have customizable ears here that we've actually done in the past. Yeah. We got our original OG uh, YouTube name 
Disney Do Adventures. Mm -hmm, with some fireworks on them. They're really cute. They're still doing those here, as well as they do ornaments. Yeah. The ornaments look great, too. Yeah, it's a perfect holiday gift. You can write either the name, the year, lots of different ideas. Disneyland, mm -hmm. even. And they have all kinds of colors they can use for the artwork. There's complimentary artwork available, like small sparkles and whatnot. Or you can have the bigger artwork for about $5 each. But they have a new rule, only two pieces of artwork per item. It is mostly seasonal right now, so they have cut back a lot of the artwork. Mm -hmm. um, you will receive a text message once your item is available for pickup, in which they are only doing same day pickup, so you can't like place an order today and pick it up like anytime in the future. It's gotta be that same day. Yeah, and they'll give you an estimate pickup time, so it is nice. And same day pickup is pretty good service too. Yeah, and also needs to be done on an ornament that they can like write and draw on. So if there's like a lot of glitter on the ornament and not a lot of place to write, they cannot do any artwork on that ornament. So keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. Didn't even realize these things lit up. The cast member was like putting them on display and lighting them up and it comes in red, green, and white. Different lighting modes. They're, I'm even more sold on them now. <laughs> <laughs> up next is one of our favorites, Jolly Holiday, for some more food items. But you already know, this is one of the special locations you can get the Mickey Gingerbread Men at. So we had to get them. You can get, actually get five per order. But we were being mindful and only got four. <laughs> very mindful, very demure. Just four of them. You'll notice this year the green buttons are gone. They're yellow stars. Yeah. Otherwise, he looks about the same. No facelift, but. <laughs> he's looking a little chunker though. Yeah. Like if you hold him from he's the side. Thicker there, on the yeah, side. Yeah, he's thicker. So I think that means less fudgy, unfortunately, but we'll see. We'll sample him at the end of our meal to see. But yeah, I'm so glad we got these. They have them still. It is now. 545 and they're still available so good yes. to see they learned from two years ago they would run out at like new yeah. last year was good this year's good so don't be like alarmed you don't gotta <laughs> set an alarm 8 a.m in the morning to yes. do a mobile order and so many locations have them now in both parks so you really have a good choice of locations to get them from not new this year but so good that we had to get it again the thanks miss sandwich here we go forgive me for taking the biggest bite ever <laughs> Like three minutes passed before that last bite and me talking right now, but solid, solid sandwich. Jolly Holiday, I will say it like time and time again, is probably the best place to eat in Disneyland. That's like quick service. So good. This is literally like Thanksgiving leftovers in a sandwich. You got your cranberry sauce, the turkey is like perfect. Um, and the stuffing too, all just make a great, great Thanksgiving sandwich. Comes with a side of gravy, although I feel it's like not even necessary, but this just like screams Thanksgiving. It is a chef's kiss. I'm pretty sure we give it every year. Can't go wrong with the do, sandwich. Do the honors, make it official. <laughs> chef's kiss. Chef's kiss. <laughs> but we did want to note, this is the first year that we remember that it's actually going to be, be available past Thanksgiving. You're right, it would end like around Thanksgiving and I was going past it. And that was a big critique was you can't call it Thanksmas if it's not around during Christmas. Yeah, it was just a Thanksgiving sandwich at that point. Uh, but yes, they must have received our hate emails. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> no. We don't do that. We don't do that. <laughs> also, Christmas Fantasy is playing right now, so. But we've seen it already, so yeah, we're apolog good. Apologize for the loud music. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be loud for the next two hours because that's how long it takes for it to get from one end to the next end. Oh my gosh, shady. <laughs> For a sweet treat, we have the crispy chocolate dip croissant topped with flake corn cereal and filled with barbarian cream. When I saw this on the foodie guide, I was very intrigued. I'm not sure why there's corn flakes on top. Yeah. It kind of looks like little gold flakes. It doesn't really scream holiday to me, but I am intrigued. I love barbarian cream. I feel like Jolly Holiday is doing seasonal croissants. It might be a new thing because during Halloween they had an apple almond croissant. We didn't try that, but I heard it was good. So let's give this one a try. Let's look at the cream. Okay. 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 Looks good. It's a generous amount. Yeah. I don't want too much or else it will kind of come out. Okay. Here I go. Okay. I took three bites, but I got to the Bavarian cream center. It's very nice. The croissant itself is fresh and delicious. Reminds me of my favorite Costco croissants, actually. The chocolate on top is nice. The cream inside is very, very good. Good barbarian cream flavor to it, too. Tastes like it was fresh made in house. It kind of tastes like a croissant and a cream filled donut had a baby. Mm. I, I don't really, it's not screaming holidays to me, but it doesn't have to have red and green sprinkles to be holiday. This is tasty nonetheless. This is very good. The cream does try to escape when you bite it though. Overall, I'm gonna give it a four out of five. 
So before we get into these Mickey gingerbread cookies, I wanted to talk about how functional this popcorn bucket is. So we actually were able to put <laughs> three of the Mickey gingerbread cookies in here. I could probably put a fourth in there too, but oh. we're gonna have one right now. It's perfect. It's I perfect. love it. Yeah. It's so, so cute. He's home. He is home. He's home. He's in his ginger home. home. For now. And then he's gonna get decapitated by me later. <laughs> Um, so a lot to talk about. It's 6.09, the parade finally finished. Um, it started at 2 p.m. So it took only four hours oh and 10 God, minutes to get here. No, it took 35 minutes. So if it started at exactly when it was supposed to at 5.30 in Town Square, uh, the, whole thing, the whole thing took 35 minutes uh, to pass by us here at Jolly Holiday. So not terribly long. Also wanted to point out that we did the cast preview and we noticed that the big buzz like toy factory float was missing and it is still gone as of today which is the first day of the holidays so hopefully it's just like in maintenance and they're going to fix it up for a later date that one's pretty cool though i like that one the the toys getting wrapped on the, the conveyor belt it's and fun they are toys too it's like a toy factory and there's toys on the toy factory it, it all it just comes oh, together and then full the, circle. The, green, the green the green men yeah yeah the green what the heck men. yeah they're there too oh yeah. shoot we're missing them yeah um, okay, so this popcorn bucket, we gotta talk about this real quick. In Town Square, there's a lot of different ways you could like combo this with different items here at the park. So we got this for $39.99, popcorn bucket, and 13 cookies. So if you get it with popcorn, it's gonna be $39.75. So literally just 24 cents more and you can get 13 cookies from Harbor Galley, which... There's only one right choice. Yeah, <laughs> 90, like 100 times out of 100 times, I'm going to choose that offer. Now, you can get it with french fries, like if you check the mobile app right now, mobile order, it's going to be like 36 six ninety nine at Galactic Grill. So popcorn bucket and french fries, and then at, Jesus, a lot, Alien. at Alien Pizza Planet, you can get it with a side of breadsticks, and that is $37.99. So $36.99 with fries, $37.99 with breadsticks. $39.75 with popcorn and $39.99 with 13 freshly baked <laughs> gingerbread cookies. Pick your please, poison. Yeah, do that every time. Please, 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 please. They're that good. Okay. Enough chit chat. Let's see if this holds up. We're on the gingerbread tour 2024. <laughs> we got to make a t-shirt. We yeah. always joke about it. We're passionate about Ooh. these guys. The chocolate on the back? Oh, usually it's a white chocolate. Oh. Wow. Okay. Already noticing some differences. Here we go. I really hope he's fudgy. It's a, a batch thing. It's a thicker cookie, yeah. so it has less opportunity to be fudgy. Tomorrow's batch could be fudgier. Exactly. Um, now, we weren't going to do this, but now I want to test a theory. We're going to get the... I'm letting you know right now, too. I know what you're going to yeah. say. Yeah. What's it, where's it from? The Red Rose The Red Tavern. Rose Tavern. They have the Mickey head-shaped ones. So we're going to get that today and try it in comparison with this one. Also, the, uh, the outdoor vending carts, I believe, in California Adventure also has that shape. Yes. I think Cappuccino Cart does, mm. too, or Ant Cast. Some of them have it. Yeah. We're just doing Disneyland today, so yeah. a place to get that would be over there. So these are not as fudgy as the ones that we had earlier today at Harbor Galley, but this is still good nonetheless, still a five out of five. So we made our way over to Red Rose Tavern to try that Mickey shaped gingerbread and they are all sold out. Yeah, so we're gonna do the whole taste comparison and yeah. everything, but don't worry, we will try that same shaped cookie over at DCA later this weekend so we can give the full comparison update. <laughs> Today is the first day of the holidays at Disneyland Resort, but it's also the first official day of Tiana's Bio Adventure. And for one day only at the Starcade over in Tomorrowland, we have the Tiana's Bio Adventure merchandise. It's also at Lewis's Critter Club, but we can see it here in Tomorrowland, so we had to come over to Starcade because Starcade's almost never open anymore. And look what they have. They have this adorable shoulder buddy you can get. It has the little firefly here, and you can press his back to go ahead and turn the light on or off. And when you're by the other fireflies, they interact. He has a little magnet base. You can put him on like a little lily pad. You can put him on your shoulder. And then to charge him, he actually goes back inside the jar and there's a little charging cord. I think that's so genius because he still looks cute while he's charging. You can still yeah. kind of have him be interactive with you. He's still in theme while charging. He still is. And it says $31.99. This immediately caught my eye. This is like what they have over in Eudora's boutique over in New Orleans Square. 
It's Tiana's restaurant fun jar. This actually has milk chocolate gold wrapped coins inside. And I just noticed this. Customize this space with your own dream. Aww. This is adorable. This is just so spot on from the movie. I really, really love this. They also have some Mama Odie's hot sauce. This is roasted pepper. Oh. You can see the, uh, the chili flakes in there too. Yeah. And if you need to cool off after, they have a green apple lollipop. <laughs> They also have this shirt as well. It's got the year on it, so you know what year it opened, 2024. And Disneyland, because they have this right over at Magic Kingdom, you're too. You're right, yeah. You gotta specify which one you're at. Not Very too cool. bad, 29.99. Yeah, and it's not gray, so appreciate that. <laughs> Some really cute Chinese Body Adventure ears. They Whoa. have different light patterns. I feel like everything, a lot of the merch here like, lights up. I'm for it. Yeah. It goes with the whole theme. These feel really well made. I love the color scheme. Even the inside has a cool color. Oh, yeah. Instruments on the side. Come and join then, the party. Oh, and the back just has kind of a nice, like, embossed pattern. Nice. It's a party and we're invited. This is simple, but I love this. It's one of those pullback toys. So, yeah, pull it back, it launches forward. This is $12.99. It has some of the critters from the ride. <laughs> <laughs> They're so cute. Have that go down our driveway and it'd be like you're the ride in the ride. Oh, my gosh. They also have some kids' shirts as well. This is $21.99. I absolutely love this. I wish they had this in a larger size. This, I would get I this. I love this sweatshirt. This is $40, but it's so cute. And it's actually so soft. We know a shortcut. There's also a lounge fly, Disney Parks lounge fly for the attraction. It has featuring the, the water drop right there. Mm -hmm. and you can see the hanging bottles from before you drop. It's really nice. This is $79. I want to see if there's maybe a you know, a pattern inside the bag. Sometimes they have a matching pattern. There is a print inside. It has the attraction name and a little bit of print on it. There nice. It says right here, this shirt is specifically designed for Magic Key holders. Very nice shirt. Kind it of a says, tan. Yeah, I thought it was great at first, but it is tan and it says Magic Key, Disneyland Resort. There are special penny presses for Tiana's Bayou Adventure and they are adorable. I actually really like the casing that they're in here. It's Tiana's food crates. Yeah, my favorite thing in Critter Country was that penny press found at the end of Splash Mountain. It's like the, the drop, they the go long down drop. The yeah, yeah, that oh, was awesome. Bring it back. This is pretty cool though too. And they even have some collectible medallions, four different designs. Even one of them has Winnie the Pooh. One of them is Country um, Hungry Bear yeah. Barbecue Jamboree. <laughs> you said it right this time. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> took me eight tries to say Hunch Hungry Bear Barbecue Jamboree. Jamboree. Yeah, yeah, there you go. But yeah, it's, it's way uh, better savings if you buy them all in one go. It is. Yeah. So we got one thing and it was this pin. It's kind of the same like print design that was on the t-shirt we saw earlier. It's got Lewis and some of the critters going down the log ride. And it says Tiana's Bayou Adventure on the bottom. And it says, we know a shortcut on top. So it says $16.99 um, before discount. And they're doing the holiday discount right now. So we got a little, little extra discount. That's for cast members. That's, that's, that's for like cast members. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Want to disclose that. Yeah. Uh, but yes, if you know us, you know we love pins. So this is going up on the pin board. And it's fine because now we know that we bought it on the first official day. You're right. Of Tiana's Bayou Adventure. Yes, exactly. Yay. Let's go ride the ride now. Okay. Sure. Let's get absolutely drenched. <laughs> Our next stop is going to be Alien Pizza Planet. We got the Holiday Green Drink. It is an apple flavored beverage topped with caramel, cold foam, and sprinkles. This drink sounds really good. It sounds almost like a caramel apple because it has caramel cold foam on top and the apple drink. Is it maybe like a soda? Let's find out. It is not a soda. Yeah, I think it's more apple juice like than soda. I'm gonna try and get a sip of the caramel cold foam. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> that makes it taste like one of the caramel apple lollipops you have for Halloween. Mm. That's good. I associate caramel apple more with like an autumn flavor, like Halloween time but I am not mad at it. I'm gonna give this a four and a half out of five. Very tasty, very fun. Our next food item is the chicken apple store pizza slice with spiced red sauce, mozzarella cheese, roasted corn, and apple store marinated chicken garnished with crema and tomatillo sauce drizzle and cilantro. Well, that was a mouthful. <laughs> <laughs> this pizza, I will say one thing already, very fragrant. I'm already smelling like the tomatillo salsa. Yes. I like how there's like corn bits in here. It's kind of throwing me back to <laughs> Tokyo Disneyland. For whatever reason, they kind of had corn on like a lot of the items there. In Japan too. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't but know you why. you know what? I, I love it. Yeah. There's so much tomatillo though. I know. I'm a little scared. I, I think love it's gonna tomatillo, be a little but... too much, but it's all at the top of the pizza. So this first bite I'm gonna get is gonna have no tomatillo salsa. Okay. Mm. 
tomatillo salsa does not pair well with it. First bite I got, didn't have any, so I went in for like a little side bite over here. Way too overpowering, that's all you're tasting. The al pastor chicken is like very, 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 uh, has like a very, it's very marinated. So that taste or that flavor is coming through the most out of everything. Until I got the tomatillo salsa, then that's the only thing that came through. I don't think this really works in my opinion. On that, there's like very, very minimal corn pieces. I could probably count how many corn bits there are in here and it's like five. So if you're gonna do corn, I want corn. More corn. More corn. Cream uh, corn pizza. Yeah, this just doesn't go well <laughs> in my opinion. Uh, I'm gonna give this a like 1.75 out of five. It has like all the ingredients of like a like a Mexican street taco, but it's on a pizza and it just, it just doesn't work. Doesn't translate. It doesn't maybe. translate. Oh, and then another thing, um, we tried to get the alien macaron, but they were all sold out. So Disney macarons are not to be missed. So if you want the macaron, make sure you get here earlier in the day. Right now it is 7, 17. We tried around seven o'clock. Um, so put in that mobile order early if you want the macaron. So just got the 7.30 showing of Wintertime Enchantment. There are two showings, one at 7.30 and one at 8.30. They're so pretty. If you can't make it to the fireworks at 9.30, no worries. These shows are beautiful and definitely showcase the beauty of Sleeping Beauty Castle during the holidays. Yeah, so we caught it in front of the castle and we also caught it two days ago for that cast preview. Tonight we saw it in front of the castle-ish. Yeah. Um, there's not really too much snow happening. So if you want it to like snow around you, get a spot on Main Street 
specifically in front of the Panera Arcade. That's like the most snow flurry. There's yeah. only a little bit kind of in the central hub area. Yeah, so I think that's a wrap for today's video. I think we, yeah. we tried a lot of good food. We did a lot, had a we lot of a fun. Lot. Yeah. We actually back again this weekend though to go check out California Adventures food offerings. Well, and holiday offerings too. Yeah, so we had some fun meeting some characters. We saw a lot of friends in the parks too. Yeah. Dapper Dan's always a good time. I had a lot of fun with you today. Yeah, it was, it was, a, good time. It was a good time. Good, good, good time to uh, a good day to kick off the first day of the holiday here at the Disneyland Resort. For sure. Yeah. So thank you so much for watching, mm -hmm. and we will see, see you real soon. soon. Take a